Hello and welcome to My Art Spa. My name is Anna and today I'm going to show you my simple three-step process to fix ugly gel prints or you can also use this to take more control over your prints. If you're frustrated or disappointed with your gel print results, you can do this also to enhance your prints. And the secret is move away from your jelly plate and take a little more control over your prints. You will see I'm still going to use my jelly plate just to spread my paint. I'm still going to work with acrylic paints, but I'm going to add some stencils and maybe some stamps. And I'm also going to do some highlighting at the end to make some areas pop. So stay tuned and let me show you the process step by step. The first step is to spread some acrylic paint on your jelly plate and with a sponge you stencil over your prints. You can use contrasting colors or you can stick with the same color pattern that you already use on your prints. I'm going to do contrasting colors because I like really colorful prints. Uh, and don't feel guilty either because you're still using, it's still a jelly print, it's still a gel print. You are just using your jelly plate differently. You're using your jelly plate maybe just to spread the first layer with the solid background and maybe a few marks. Or you can even do this step with the stenciling also with the gel plate. And then you will do the highlighting and the stamping afterward. So it's really flexible. And when you're stenciling, also be creative. Maybe you want to just do... I think you saw my previous uh, print here. I just did a circle with my stencil instead of following the stencil pattern. You can put some masking in there as well. Just it's time to be creative and take control over your final result. Whenever using acrylic paints on the stencils, soak them in water right away to make it easier to clean later. So I finished using that one particular stencil. Now I move on to my next stencil and I'm going to select all the prints that I want to use this stencil so that I can be finished with this particular stencil and soak it in water. Uh, and that's it. That's for the first step. I'm going to go through all my prints and stencil them all. I think you got the idea. So let's move on to the next step. All right, now I'll be stamping my prints. I'll be using stays on and mainly mixed media stamps, which are basically letters and numbers and mark making and text background. And I like doing black, but you are free to use any color ink you would like. And you can even skip this, this part too. If you don't want to do the stamping, you can move on from the stenciling straight to the highlighting which will come up next. So again, I think you got the idea. But before we move on to the next step, let me go ahead and show you what I got so far. And finally, to give that highlighted effect, you want to trace your stencil images with either black or white ink. I even gonna use a green ink here as well to see, just to play with and see the results. But uh, yeah, this is basically it. Go around tracing freehand or place your stencils back and trace it around it. And to end this video, I wanted to show you some close-ups of the prints to show you what a difference it makes to highlight certain areas. But it's really up to you where you want to stop and how much you want to do to your prints. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye!